Right, we're sticking with the same set of data. This time we're going to be looking at the mode. So we're going to start off with our first set here. Now the mode, remember, is the most common number, the number that comes up the most. And in our first case, what you can see is that we've got one of each of these. So there is no number that repeats itself. So in this case, there is no mode for this set of data. Okay? The mode would not be an appropriate average. So because nothing, no number is repeated. In our second example, however, we can see that there are two fives. There's one of every other left, but there are two fives. So the mode is five, because that turns up twice, while all the other numbers turn up once. In the final example, we can see that there are two threes, but there are also two sevens. So the most common number is both three and seven. So in actual fact, there are two modes. Okay, two most common numbers. Um, in some cases, when you look at this, uh, some people might refer to this as having there is no mode because there is no most common number. Okay, um, but it depends upon your preference. In the majority of cases, if you are going to be asked to find the mode, there will be an obvious mode to find. So, like an example two here. However, if you're given a set of data and you're asked a question such as why would the mode not be an appropriate measure or um, an appropriate average to use, then it is likely to be the case where there is either no mode or that there are more than one mode.